Good morning, my friends. Yes, everybody's my friends or y'all. That's what that's what they are. You are either my friend or a y'all. That's what you are to me. I mean, that's just though you either fall in one of those two groups. So good morning, my friends. Good morning, y'all. Now I've included everybody. See, I was very inclusive in that moment. So it is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I don't even remember what today's called. Total body core. What I'm doing when I look back there is I'm looking at my calendar, but I don't know why I look at my calendar without my glasses on because I can't see diddly squat. I can't. Anyway, total body core. That three by 10 was trying to harm me today. Um, somebody needs to call the popo and complete a duty to warn. If you're a therapist, or basically if you're anybody in the public, if somebody makes a threat to harm you and they want to kill you, then you have to call the popo and you have to say, um, can you complete a duty to warn? So that, that way, like, the, the potential victim is notified and they can be on guard. So, uh, duty to warn, total body core, going to try to kill me, okay? That 3 by 10 rep scheme where we're burning it out, it was burning, y'all. My biscuits were burning. They were burning so bad, so bad, so bad. Whoa. My goodness. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. But, y'all, I, I forget. I forget how complicated um, this is, you know, the, the complex movements, you know, making it all, making it all work together. It's really ridiculous. I can't, I can't, it's really complicated for me. So, um, can we just talk for a second about getting up off the floor? You know, one of the hardest things for me when I started working out was the getting up and getting down up off the floor. It is. It, it's really difficult. When you are when you weigh 354 pounds, when you get started, like, that's a lot of stuff to try to get up off the floor. And, like, getting up off the floor usually required, like, multiple, multiple, like, get some, get some momentum going and fling yourself some direction. And then, like, get on your hands and knees and huff and puff a little bit. Then get one leg up and brace yourself and then get up. Or you're going to have somebody help you. Like, I mean, it's just, it's pretty ridiculous. And so when I started, it was really, really difficult to get up off the ground. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's just, it's just not any easier. And then like today we got Turkish gaps, which are basically like, let's get up off the ground, but not use our legs. Let's get up off the ground and just put one arm up here and one arm up here. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just sit all the way up. Um, and then we have the like, and I, you know, the Turkish get-ups, I call those the, the burpa babies because gaseous expulsions. Yeah, both ends. It happens. Everybody toots. No big deal. Um, and so then we have like those do the clean and then get up thing. Like, what? Get up off the floor. Like, part of the exercise move is getting up off the floor. Like, it used to be I just had to get up between work up, between exercises. Like, we do one on the mat and then we got to get up. No, now, now we have moved to such complex heights that we are now using getting up off the floor as part of the stinking move. Woosaw, woosaw, calm my brow. Ease my brow, y'all. Whoo. Now, let me just say, I'm really proud because I'm doing real good about getting up off the floor. I'm, I'm doing real good. It's getting so much better. But sometimes I just want to lay there. Sometimes I just want to corpse pose it. Just yoga corpse pose. Just lay there and just breathe. Sometimes it's what I feel like I got left in the tank. <sighs> that's, what I, that's what I got left. But I kept pushing. And I learned some interesting things. So I've learned some interesting things in this program about how I just apparently don't take very good care of my body. Um, so I went to, I don't relax well, period. Like I, I tend to constantly have something on my mind or to deal with or to work on or a list of 5,000 things that should get done. And it's constantly going on in my brain and it never really stops. It's fantastic. Not at all. 
Um, and so I am trying really hard to learn how to relax. So yesterday I had a massage. And at one point the massage therapist told me like, you got to relax. She tried to say it quiet and like peaceful so she didn't offend me. But I'm like, oh God. And so then I had to put some conscious effort into relaxing, and I don't know if that helped. I think it maybe made it worse. I got nothing. Um, so I also learned so much about my body by going to the massage therapist. If you've never gone to a really good therapeutic um, massage therapist, you're missing out. So um, I apparently learned that um, my body is left side dominant. So the massage therapist was like, so you're left-handed, right? And I'm like, no, I'm right-handed. She goes, interesting. Your body is extremely left-dominant. And I'm like, hmm, maybe that explains all my issues with like, you know, walking, tripping, falling, sliders. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, I think it's a little too late to work on the whole becoming left-handed thing. Um, but, you know, apparently I just, I like my left side a lot, apparently. So, yeah, going to work on that. Apparently those muscles are really resistant. So, you learn a lot when you go to the massage therapist. I learned that apparently I have the forearms of a massage therapist, which means apparently that they're really jacked up. So, I've got to work on stretching. That's my goal. So like right now, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. I'm stretching those out. I'm going to work on that. It's part of my relaxation and self-care that I'm going to do. Um, so last week, someone wonderful in the coach test group offered a solution for those of us who were having trouble doing the prayer. Y'all remember the crab bear? Um, and so she put her hand on a slider, like one hand to help her like turn. So I tried that today. I was like, maybe that'll really help me. It really helped me bust my butt. Apparently, I just don't get... So I did I did tricep dips, did 10 tricep dips, and then I would flip over into a bear. And then I would do 10 tricep dips. You know, that's what I did every round is what how I modified because I just can't seem to be coordinated enough to make that happen. I'm going to keep working on it, but... It really stresses my brain out. Kind of like the whole like pat your head, rub your belly thing. Like that stresses me out. Yeah. I get stressed about stuff. Like I get stressed about that. I'm seeing so many victories. And so it's really difficult when I can't do something for the same number of reps as Autumn or her crew or I can't move as fast. Sometimes I get really frustrated. But then I have to remember, I'm still learning. I'm still getting there. I'm still having to modify the modifier. It's okay. I'm still moving as much as I possibly can. I'm pushing myself further than I've ever been pushed. And I still get credit. I still get credit, okay? So it's really, really important that we do not shame ourselves for not being at Autumn's level yet. She's a freaking expert. I'm not expert level yet. I'm not there. I'm not there. And that's okay. I don't know that I'll ever be a fitness expert, but I definitely want to be a fit person. So that means that I'm going to keep pushing and I'm going to keep doing and I'm not going to stop. I just may not always look real good doing it. I may not be able to do as many reps or I may not be able to do it as quick, but you know, I'm going to keep pushing and seeing how far I can push my body and my mind because that's really important. It's imp important to push our bodies and our minds further than we ever thought that they could go because, you know, I knew that whenever I heard about 80-day obsession, there were doubts up there in my brain. I knew that when I started 21-day fix almost a year ago that there were serious doubts in my mind, but you know what? I just keep getting up. I keep pushing play no matter what. Even if there's doubts in there, I just tell them to shut up, and I'm going to go get it done. So, um, pardon me while I go foam roll and do some stretching and some more work. You know, adulting rocks. Y'all have a great, great day.